Up and at him, it's morning! Uh, good morning, Ekam. Greetings and salutations, everyone. I'm Ekamak, this is Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon 2. Or Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of the Sky, and it just struck me that I was so busy doing things with the Wonder Mail that I completely forgot. We got a special episode, let's tackle that. Ailey Buff the Prodigy. I actually wasn't planning on doing this, but at the very last second at opening it up when I saw save and return to the top menu, I remembered, oh wait, we never did that. Guildmaster. It's Chadot. I'm coming in. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Here's your perfect apple. Yay! Thank you. This is the last time. Each night I sneak away from everyone and bring you a perfect apple from storage. I'm fed up with it. Please let me stop doing this. I'm begging. That is, the Guildmaster would sneak in and eat one anyway if I didn't bring him one. Oh! Is this a Defend Globe? So, do you remember how uh, Stuntank told us about how the Guildmaster had an extremely valuable treasure? We never got any further elaboration in that store in the original Pokemon Mystery Dungeon 2, but here we're getting it. It's all right. It's not damaged. That's good. I thought it got chipped or broken when I dropped it. That's kind of a rare item for you, Guildmaster. You're usually pretty rough with items, Guildmaster. But it's nice to see there is something you take good care of. Guildmaster is always taking care of perfect apples. That is, he's like that again today. That is, it seems like that Defend Globe is a very precious exclusive item, isn't it? But... This item only has an effect on Bug-type Pokémon. So even though you're holding onto it, Guildmaster, it's not very useful, is it? Yeah, I know you're right. But... This is a special thing. Special thing? Yep, special thing. It's why, when I decided to become an explorer, the starting point. Wigglytuff Backstory Igglybuff the Prodigy How did I miss this? Way back when. Yep, that was back when I was still a small child. I wasn't Wigglytuff yet. This was back when I was still an Igglybuff. There, everyone lived an easy life. It was a very peaceful prairie. This was back when we had friend camps, and not just Chime Show covering everything. I was raised in that little house. I lived there happily with my parents. Good morning, Iggly Buff. Yep, good morning. Ma Papa, Mama. Hey, Igglybuff. You've got you've got plans to play with your friends today, right? I bought a brunch. I bought a bunch of gummies. Take some to share. Yep. Thanks, Mama. Igglybuff received many gummies from Mama. Igglybuff. Igglybuff. Let's play. Look, your friends are here. Be careful. Come home before it's dark. Yep, I'm off. The special Igly episode, Igglybuff the Prodigy, stars Igglybuff as the main character. You'll progress through the story with Igglybuff as the playable character. Also, you can save your adventure from Igglybuff's bed. It's the one on the top left. To save your progress, visit there. So, let's have a look at stats here. Level 17, 
cute charm makes an attacker of opposite gender who learns the direct attack infatuated, joined at question mark, question mark, question mark, size of one. We don't have anything interesting in the way of IQ skills. Have fun playing, but be careful. Come back before it gets dark. Yeah! Ah! Mama, Ig Mama Wigglytuff actually has eyelashes, so you can tell the difference. Wigglybuff, it's good to see you have so many friends. Be nice to your friends, okay? Yep! My friendly friends! Yep, this is the same J. This is the same Wigglytuff. Oh! Wigglybuff! Hi everyone! Yay! Let's go! Let's go! What should we play today? Let's play in the mud! Yeah, I don't want to. It's unladylike to get all muddy. Smooch! I brought some gummies. Would you like guys like one? Yay! I want one! I love gummies so so much! Smooches! I love gummies. Thanks, Igglybuff. Smooches. Yay, gummies. How are they? Great, delicious. Thank you. We didn't actually have any because the item slot is uh, empty, but oh well. Choo choo. Gummies are tasty. You're the best, Igglybuff. I'm happy too. Friendly friend. Hey, you guys. You guys, what are you doing there? Them? The bullies, Bennett and Scorpy. This is a remix of the very first dungeon theme in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team. How about that? The bullies, Bennett and Scorpy. Oh, hey Igglybuff, you got gummies? Give us some gummies too. Lots. Bunches. Heaps of them. Yep, sure. Friendly friends. Why is Sleepy Buff making friends with those bullies? I sometimes play with Burnett's group, but they always boss me around. And if you cross them, they're really mean. Maybe Igglybuff isn't scared of those two? Gummies are so delicious! It's kind of weird that this guy isn't the slightest bit scared of us. Yeah, they're so yummy! But it's fine as long as you can boss them around! <laughs> hey, give me another gummy! Me too! Yep! Huh? I'm all out of gummies. I had so many of them too. I wonder what happened. Sorry. It's alright. Wow, I mean, we ate up all of them. Didn't you notice? It's alright, we'll forgive you. Just bring more gummies next time. Yep, friendly friends. Uh, doesn't Nickly Buff realize he's being played by Burnett? I hate that. I won't forgive this. You shouldn't get involved! They're really big and scary! I mean, both of them have a type advantage against you. Maybe it's for the best not to get involved. Hey everyone, we should go talk to Igglybuff's mama. She'll know what to do. Yep. Yeah. So we can sort of see... This is very reminiscent of what happened with, uh... What happened with Team Skull? Sleep now, sweet little child. You are truly adorable. Sleep now, sweet little, sweet little child. Alright, he's sleeping. Hey, Papa. I've been worried about something. Huh? What is it, Mama? I heard from Igglybuff's friends today. 
Higgly Buff is being manipulated by some bullies. Some bullies? Yeah. Higgly Buff's friends came to talk to me about it. Hey, Papa? You don't think he'll become like them, do you? Sometimes I really have no clue what that child is thinking. So I'm a little worried. Yeah, that does seem troublesome. But I think it's alright. Higglybuff is still so cheerful. No matter how he may seem, deep down he has a good heart. Besides, didn't we have this discussion before? Back when I climbed that mountain with Higglybuff? On our way home. When Iglybuff and I returned from climbing that mountain, we found ourselves stuck in this sudden storm. So scary. Are you all right, Iglybuff? Can you feel that? The storm is causing the ground to shake. We need to get off this mountain quickly. It's dangerous to be here. Let's hurry. Yeah. Ah! Igly buff! And right then, this huge boulder started to fall right above me. Whoa! Papa! It's no good. I'm going to be crushed. And just when I thought that... Yumta! Somehow the boulder was smashed to pieces. I wasn't crushed by the boulder. Somehow I was saved. Oh boy. And to think Zubat was talking about talent. Meanwhile he trash talked Wigglytuff. When even as a child Wigglytuff was capable of doing some real damage. I'm not sure what happened and I still don't know exactly what it was. But I'm sure that it was Wigglybuff that saved me. Of that, I am certain. That kid has some kind of mysterious power. He doesn't just have some strong power. When people are in trouble, that's when it appears. I get the feeling this power is full of his kindness for others. I understand your concerns, Mama. But I think we should trust our child a little more, okay? Yes, you're right. I'm sorry, Papa. He'll be okay. After all, he is our son. Yeah. It's a good thing to be concerned about, Mama, so don't worry. That is, the fact that you are concerned, Mama, it just shows how much you truly care about Igglypuff. Right? Yeah. Thank you, Papa. The next morning. Good morning. Papa, Mama. Good morning. Good morning, Igglybuff. I got the voices around the wrong way, I'm sorry. Are you headed out with friends again? Are you headed out with friends again today? Yep. Be careful, okay? Come home before it gets dark. Yep. Got it, Mama. Okay, I'm off. See you later. Take care. Huh? You want to play Explorers? Yeah, let's play Explorers. We want to be an exploration team in the future? Mm. No, there's no way he's the Drapion that we saw working with Weavile. So we should go out and explore unknown areas. What do you think? It's great, right? So, this unknown place... Where are we going? Hmm, that's a good question. You'd make a good apprentice explorer, bud you. We decided on a place. 
Murky forest. What? Murky forest? Is that what you said? Smooch is no way. I don't want to. Going to that forest is not allowed at all. My mummy even said so. There's even a rumor that a big scary monster lives in the forest. Why do you want to go there? Doesn't it seem like this type of place that exploration teams would go? Don't tell me. Does that mean you're scared to go? No, I'm not scared. It's just that you shouldn't go to places you've been told not to go. I don't like it. I'm not going. Me neither. I'm staying out of it. Same here. What's this? They're all a bunch of cowards. They're scared and making up all these lame excuses. It's pathetic. I doubt they'll ever be a real exploration team when they grow up. Not at all likely. Hey, what's an exploration team? Huh? You don't know what an exploration team is? Nope. But you're still here, so that means... That means you've got the courage? Yep, I do. Alright, you'll do. Come along. Yay, thanks, friends. Alright, everyone line up. Alright, from now on we're an exploration team headed for Murky Forest. Gather up your courage and let's go. Yeah! Yeah! Yay! Yay! Ooh! Ooh. Ooh. I can't make my voice go this high. So we have a level 15 Bayonet, a level 15 Scorpy, and me. All we have is Pound, but with a 50% stab in this game, that's still a pretty good number to have. Eagle Buff truly is a balloon Pokemon. Also, Bayonet has the ability to walk through walls, meaning that it'll try to take... It'll take diagonal jumps to catch up with the party. Unfortunately, because Bayonet is second, it's also going to leave Scorpy behind a little smidge. Ghost types are kind of a problem because, um, well, okay. Ghost types do have that. Sorry, I misstarted that sentence. Ghost types are kind of handy because they can walk through walls and eventually there's going to be dungeons where the walls have items in them, so we will want one. It's why I set up a mischievous as... It's why I set up a wonder mail to recruit a mischievous because by the time we actually get to recruit one, it's already too late to catch her up. The downside, while going through walls, ghost types will rapidly lose their belly stat much faster than you do from regularly walking about, and even the uh, ones... Um, even items that are supposed to negate or reduce belly reduction, I think we picked up one of those. They don't protect against to losing stats from being in walls. It's how it makes sure that you can't just camp. Also traps. Darn it. That's kind of bad. Oh. I think it's so that you can't camp in walls because Pokemon in walls don't have to worry about being hit back except by specific attacks. So, if we eat this eyedrop seed, I believe it should give us a heads up on any traps, so we'll be able to see them in advance and not step on them. Mind you, they don't lose belly for doing the thing that so if you attack around a corner of a lake or something, you can still get the attack off, right? 
attacking around a corner through a wall for a ghost type, you still get to get the foot. It doesn't miss like it does for moves like Pound. So that's a little handy trick with ghost types. Of course, that ability to step around corners causes Scorpy to be left behind just a little extra step. I'm better than you are. We're an exploration team. Yeah, this is Tiny Woods. I suppose it's a cute callback. But also, I need to hang on to some orbs with room-wide effects because as we've established before, you can absolutely run into monster houses in special episodes, so yeah, it struck me just as I picked up that petrify orb. Is there is a way to identify traps in advance if you just use a basic attack everywhere you go but that would chew through so much belly so traps might as well be undetectable for all intents and purposes. At least they would be if not for the fact that there are certain IQ skills that help deal with traps. They either identify the trap in advance or they either ignore the trap when it's set off, or detonate, or destroy it outright. These guys are just basically hiding behind me for the entire time, aren't they? We can't change their tactics either, can we? Protect is kind of a problem in this game because there's nothing stopping someone from using it again the turn it wears off. So they just sit there as an, under an indestructible wall because Protect works on everything. I'd say it's the big advantage of having a Mudkip is that they do learn Protect naturally. I feel like Swagger is not helping, though. We... we've come pretty far. It's a really dark place this is. Ooh. Huh? What's wrong, Scorpy? But... this is that place everyone says you're not supposed to go. The... the depths of this forest. In the rumor there's a terrible monster living here. What is it? Are you suddenly afraid now that we're here? I've got no sympathy. If you say that... If you say that, you... You're making me start to feel scared. <laughs> Scary. There's something here, though. Don't... Don't say that, you! You coward! What is it? Don't you say it, Bennett? 
You're really scared, aren't you? Scared? Me? What nonsense. Don't pretend to be tough. Even when you're talking, I can see tears welling up in your eyes. Ugh. No, that's not true. That's just not true. I'll show you I'm not scared. Hey! Hey, you terrible monster! Can you hear me? What? I'm the Great Burnett. I'm an explorer. We've come to beat you. So quit hiding and come on out. It's not coming out. What's this? Not here. I knew it. I knew all along, from the start. I knew it was just a simple rumour, nothing more. There was no monster here, there never was one. <laughs> Is that so? Ha ha ha. Alright, I guess this exploration is done. Everyone, let's go home. Yeah! Yeah! Did you just hear something? Some... I think I heard some kind of growl. Hey, you over there! Didn't you say you're an exploration team? Uh, get out of here! Coming in here. I don't know who in the world you think you are. Uh, he's here! What's this? Bunch of kids? Weren't there more of you? You too, Junior! You better run away quick! Go! If he stays here, something bad will happen. Hey, mister! What are you doing here, mister? Aunt? Aren't you scared? Aren't you scared of me? Nope, not scared. Very typical wiggly tough behavior. So what are you doing here anyway, mister? Uh, he's a strange little fellow. Hey, tell me. Tell, tell. I told you to go home. If you answer me, I'll go home. Answer, answer. No way, go home. A short answer is fine. Finally fine. Ugh. You're persistent. Maybe I should use better deodorant. I guess I've got no choice. I'll tell you a little. Come with me. Yay! Oh, there's an opening in the rock here, deep in the forest. We're going in. Wow, amazing! Secret base, secret base! Not quite. It's not a secret base, it's just my home. My name is Amaldo. I used to be an explorer, but not anymore because of one thing. I've taken a break from exploring, and so I spend my days here. So, what's exploring? Huh? You don't know about exploring? Exploring is... so much fun. It's incredibly exciting. So much fun. Incredibly exciting? That's right. Distant lands, uncharted territory. You visit many remarkable places. Solve the mysteries you find there. Really? And you get to bring back treasure and fortune with you. Oh! That's so cool! And? 
You have to keep at it, working hard and overcoming difficulties until you finally achieve your dreams. For example, For example, this secret map. Armada handed Igglybuff the secret map. Open it up, have a look. This seems to be a map that indicates the location of some treasure. Study it closely. Doesn't really make sense, does it? If I don't figure out the cipher, then I'll never be able to uncover the location of the treasure. Well, you're just a kid. You wouldn't know anything about this. I've been working hard on this one for a long time, but haven't been able to figure it out yet. However, I'm not giving up. I can't. I know that if I can overcome this... Ch <laughs> I'm sorry, I remember this scene. <laughs> 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 Okay, okay. I know that if I can overcome this challenge, there will be a future. That's the adventure of exploration. It's thrill. It's essence. It's never-ending attraction. It's... Hey! Ha ha ha! Burned it, burned it! Hey, Junior! What are you doing? Knock it off! Water! Water! Oh yeah, water gun. Oh. Oh. My... My precious secret map. It's... It's charred. Look! What? Under the charred parts, you can see something. If you brush away the charred parts, can you see anything special? Bigly Buff brushed away the charred parts of the map. What? Right here. Isn't there something written here? Right, written. Eastern Cave. Eastern Cave? Really? It's... Is it true there's treasure there? Yep. I knew it. Ha ha ha. That is... How did you know? How did you figure out this map's secret? When I looked at the map, I saw it was really thick. So I figured there must be two layers to it. But I didn't think there was any other way to peel off the top layer. So I thought I'd burn it off. This kid. I've been working on that puzzle for so long, and he solved it just like that? That is... this kid... just like that? Hey, if you go to this eastern cave, would you find the treasure there? Please take me with you. I want to go and see. But I'm... I'm a retired explorer. You can't just jump back in. Huh? But don't you like exploring? I mean... Earlier it sounded like you really enjoyed talking about it. You were working so hard on the secret of that map. If you don't go, it'll be a waste. That's... It's true it would be a waste not to go after solving the map's riddle. But I'm hesitant to leave here. Maybe I wouldn't attract too much attention with a little trip to the eastern cave. Alright. Hey, Junior. You made a good point. We'll go. Really? Yes, really. But it's a little too late to start today. Your mum and dad are probably worried. Today you should go on home. Tomorrow we'll head out. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Alright, let's do our best tomorrow. Yeah. The next morning, we tackle our next episode. Until then, guys, take care. I'll see you all around.